This new ultimate final truth, however, cannot come either from any man's synthetic research in the scriptures and in literature from any human brain. As the Bible says, you must again prophesy about many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. Revelations 10, 11. This truth must appear as a revelation from God himself. This new truth has already appeared. With the fullness of time, God has sent his messenger to resolve the fundamental questions of life and the universe. His name is Sun Myung Moon. For many decades, he wandered in a vast spiritual world in search of the ultimate truth. On this path, he endured suffering unimagined by anyone in human history. God alone will remember it, knowing that no one can find the ultimate truth to save mankind without going through the bitterest of trials. He fought alone against myriads of satanic forces, both in the spiritual and physical worlds, and finally triumphed over them all. In this way, he came in contact with many saints in paradise and with Jesus, and thus brought into light all the heavenly secrets through his communion with God. The divine principle revealed in this book is only part of the new truth. We have recorded here what Sun Myung Moon's disciples have hitherto heard and witnessed. We believe with happy expectation that as time goes on, deeper parts of the truth will be continually revealed. It is our earnest prayer that the light of truth will quickly fill the earth.